Howdy folks, Corky Duke here. <coughs> Regiments is a game, brand new game I just bought 30 seconds ago on Steam. So let's uh, do the tutorial here. Basic training will teach you how to control the game camera and how to issue basic commands to the units. All right, let's do that. The mobile defense, you shift to queue a route between drop off and evac. Welcome to basic training. Here you will learn key camera and unit controls. Proceed. First, let's learn to control the camera. Use WSAD continues to move the camera horizontally. To rotate the camera, hold left control or middle mouse and move the mouse. Okay. Rotate the camera to proceed. It's not rotating the camera. There we go. Right. Okay, cool. Just like in Bomber Crew. Alright. A platoon has been deployed. You will use multiple platoons to achieve your objectives and missions. That sounds cool. This is almost like close, close combat, it sounds like. But for now, let's try controlling a single one. <coughs> Click on the platoon's icon with left mouse button or select it. Select the platoon to proceed. Okay, where's the platoon? Oh, there it is. Okay. Also notice the control panel. When a single platoon is selected, it will display information regarding the status and condition of the selected platoon. Leopard 1A4 main battle tank is perfect for medium range combat in open terrain, but cannot engage air targets and will suffer alteration versus infantry at close range. Attrition. Suffer attrition versus infantry, obviously. Okay. Also, notice the central panel when a single platoon is selected, it will display information regarding the status and condition of the selected platoon. <coughs> vehicles four. <laughs> oh, excuse me, damn. Four out of four vehicles, durability 100%, suppression 0%, main ammo 100%, Panzer Brigade number nine. Okay, we'll see. You can order their platoon to move by clicking on the Desired position with right mouse button. Advance the platoon to the designated area. Advance here. So I got a click and I don't get it. Okay, now oh, it's moving. Yeah. Four tanks is moving, the whole platoon. Alright. Cool. You can order. Oh, crap. I missed it. It's critical to master additional movement commands. To issue them, you can use keyboard hotkeys. But the buttons on the command panel, which is highlighted now. So stop, I would proceed as one. You can use fast move, F command in this mode. Platoon will try to avoid difficult terrain. That will slow it down. Okay, you can use rotate, M, or I'm sorry, V, rotate V command. That's going to confuse me. I'm used to fire button in close combat to be V. You know, i got to remember this is not close combat. You can use the rotate M command to rotate the platoon. Units will automatically try to face the most dangerous target. Rotate command allows you to direct the unit's rotation, which can be useful in certain complex situations. Now rotate the platoon towards the target. Rotate here. Okay. Okay, you did that. Or... Okay. Actually, just because all I did was a. Uh, yeah. I could right click and I did it. Reverse move, fast move, attack. Hold fire, okay. okay. Oh, there's the... Oh, there we go. Okay, advance here. Okay, I'm learning this. You can use the reverse R command to move the unit backwards. It's useful New platoon has arrived. Proceed. You can select several units by pressing left mouse button and dragging 
the selected box over them all. Alternately, you can hold shift and click on the click on the platoon icon. Platoon will be added to the current selection group. You can use the same combination on a selected platoon to remove it from the selected group. Okay. So shift. Yeah, okay, we got both units there. That looks like a mechanized infantry unit. You can select all units by clicking on any open space on the map. You can <coughs> hold right <coughs> and you can hold the right mouse button and drag to define where the platoon should face after arriving at the designated position. I already learned that. Yeah. By dragging the line further, you can also define the space between platoons. You can also hold shift to issue several orders in sequence. Advance the platoons to the designated area. Okay. What can you make? Yep, group one, okay. So designated area. Where's the designated area? Way up here. Oh, right there. Alrighty. You can hold race mount button and drag to define where the platoon should face after arriving at the designated position. By dragging the line further, you can also define the spacing between platoons. You can also hold shift to issue several orders in sequence. Okay. You can by dragging the line further. Oh, oh wow, look at that. That is cool. Advance here. Really fast. There you go. Oh, that is cool. I like that. Then you can spread them out so they're not close together. Is it raining? I hear rain. Okay, that wasn't really... Huh. Okay. Oh, well, there it goes. And hold right mouse button and drag in the time of the tune you want to place it off here. Look at that. First combat. Okay, an ambush. Your platoons are desperately outgunned and won't be able to deal with the threat. Use retreat command or click or press Q twice to order your units to retreat. They will use smoke grenades for cover available and reduce reverse to the starting zone as fast as possible okay all right Oof. they get out come on quickly press is that key? They did that. We will use smoke grenades for cover if available in the burst to the starting zone as fast as possible. Or your units to retreat. Okay, did that. Retreat command is an excellent way to preserve your units. Surviving platoons will return. <coughs> Damn. Will return their experience level and become available for redeployment much faster than the wiped out ones. Obviously. Reinforcements have arrived. It's up to you to call them in. The regiment panel is highlighted. It shows all the platoons you have available, along with their price and deployment points. Deployment points will be explained in the next tutorial. For now, you have enough to call in for you, to call in all your platoons. Okay. Click on the platoon icon with the left mouse button to select it, then click on the map to call in the platoon. Units will appear at the closest starting zone and advance to the designated point. You can select several platoons at once to deploy. So click on the platoon icon with the left mouse button to select it. Click on the map to call in the platoon. Okay. If you attack with your entire force at once, it should be enough to neutralize enemy forces with minimal losses. Your platoons will automatically attack any Enemy units in range, though some units may need to be stationary to fire toes. You can also 
issue an attack order by right mouse button. Clicking on a specific target, your units will prioritize it and automatically approach to use their weapons. So, kind of... You can use attack E command on the suspend, suspected position. The units will advance there, automatically stopping to engage the encountered enemy. Proceed. Advance and destroy two enemy platoons. Okay. Got this tank here. He's out in the open too. Alrighty. You defeated an enemy ambush. This rounds up the basic training pro proceed, okay. I won, I guess. All right, more tutorials. Advanced training. Advanced training will guide you through the commands and abilities related to the core unit types. Unlike other artillery, mortars can automatically engage targets spotted by other units. Welcome to the advanced training. Here we'll examine the mechanics of key unit types in a series of combat exercises. Modern warfare is defined by combined arms combat, operations conducted by a mixed team of various combat and support units. Thus, understanding the strengths and vulnerabilities of each unit type is vital. Learn that in the Marines. Tanks and mechanized infantry form the backbone of most combat groups, but tanks and infantry have to work together because tanks are very vulnerable to infantry. You know, bazooka hiding, well, not a bazooka, but a law or a, a panzerfaust hiding behind a tree can easily take out a tank. Our platoons are composed of tanks. Modern main battle tanks, MBTs, are one of the strongest units available. Their composite frontal armor is nearly impervious to any small caliber rounds and can shug off hits from heavy weapons. They also have great medium range firepower and can effectively use their weapons on the move. It's important to note that older tanks and MBTs that expose their vulnerable side armor are still very vulnerable to weapons, even outdated ones. What we got? It's mechanized infantry. It's a tank. <clears throat> mechanized platoons comprise the second half of your core force. This type represents personal carriers with their infantry squads combined into a single platoon. Their main strength is their flexibility and the infantry they carry. On the other hand, most personal carriers don't have strong armor and are vulnerable when caught out of cover. If left idle and out of combat for enough time, mechanized infantry will entrench on their own. Okay. You can use the change mode X command to change the infantry stance of mechanized platoons. Infantry can move mounted inside the transport or dismounted. Alternatively, you can issue orders while holding ALT and the platoons will automatically change their 
mode upon arriving at the designated point. So issue orders while holding alt and the platoons will automatically change their mode upon arriving at designated. I gotta remember that. This use this to secure the designated area with infantry. So issue orders holding alt. Okay, advance here. Marauder, now where'd my mech go? Oh, there it is. That's it. That's the only one that's going to give me. All right. So I hold Alt, issue the move order, and they should dismount as soon as they get to that new location. Or they'll probably get ambushed, I'm sure, by Russian troops. This is kind of, this is a little bit like TAC Air. I bought it because I was hoping it would be like TAC Air, and it's a little bit like it. TAC Air was more regimental size, though. This is a, down to platoon size. This is kind of almost like close combat in a way. Okay. Mounted movement is quicker over the open ground, but infantry can't use their weapons from inside the transport. The dismounted movement is slower, but allows to use the entire platoon's arsenal. With the dismounted infantry, Providing more situational awareness, infantry transports can better utilize cover to become a harder uh, to become harder to hit. Okay. Your next objective is to take the designated farm. A group of modern T-80 tanks is occupying it. Make making a direct direct attack with your forces is risky. Flanking attacking from the sides or rear is always a superior choice if the circumstances allow it. Vehicles are universally less armored on the sides and suffer more damage. They are much easier to hit, too. Cover and entrenchments are far less effective against fire coming from the sides. Okay. Already knew that. Capture this area. Okay. Where, where am I at? Use the, the tree lines on either side of the objective to approach the farm. Dismount the infantry at close range so that they can use their light anti-tank weapons against the tank side armor. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay, cool. So you double click. So advance here. Okay, get that tank. Come in this way. Move fast. So the flank attacks are always more effective than frontal ones, even against slightly armored units. All right, yeah. All right. Seems to work out pretty good. <clears throat> mobility obstructs. Mobility obstacles are a common sight on the battlefield, especially when one side had time to prepare defenses properly. Units cannot pass through enemy ob obstacles until they are bre breached. All land units can breach obstacles. Dismounted mechanized infantry can do it faster, but the engineers are most effective. 
Oh. Engineers. Combat engineers and engineering vehicles are specialized variants of infantry and tanks. They can clear the obstacles faster than any other type of unit. In addition, engineers are often armed with weapons that are especially effective against entrenched units. Breaching an obstacle is done automatically as long as the unit is in contact with the obstacle. Keep in mind that units are especially vulnerable while they are clearing an obstacle. Consider using smoke and suppressing fire on the enemy. Now use the engineers to breach designated obstacles. Okay. Are these, are, are these the designated obstacles? I guess they are. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, the engineers get out. Obstacles cleared. Reconnaissance platoons excel at finding the enemy and observing their movement. They have higher speed and improved spotting equipment compared to the regular units. They're much more adept at using co cover to remain unseen too. Most reconnaissance vehicles are lightly armored and armor and and armed and are not fit for direct combat. Advance here. It can be useful to restrict recon platoons to return fire by change fire mode H so they won't give away their position. Switch off the weapons on the recon platoons and advance to the designated areas. Be useful to restrict recon but return by change fire mode to H is that is that H? Yeah. Change fire mode to H and advance there. Okay. There they are. Already assigned. So H. Wushis? Is that how you pronounce that? Need to learn German. Go for that bale of the hay, boys. Some farmers gonna get pissed. Just ran right over. He smashed it too. <laughs> ah! Just ran right over that bale of hay. Now, some farmer's going to send us a bill for damages. All right. Artillery provides long range fire support. <laughs> it outranges other weapon systems and can shoot over obstacles but takes time to aim their guns. Due to low accuracy and lack of armor, piercing abilities, lack of armor piercing abilities, it's mostly useful for suppressing targets rather than outright destroying them. Suppressing targets have reduced accuracy and rate of fire. Suppress. Artillery requires a manual manual artillery attack. Is that T? Damn, I can't see that. 
T. Attack T order to engage targets. Use recon platoon to find the enemy around the designated area. In order your artillery to suppress the target. Okay, so. Order to. Artillery requires a manual artillery attack T order to engage targets. Use recon platoon to find the enemy around the designated area and order your artillery to suppress the target. Suppress, okay. Okay, now where's my artillery go? Okay, where, where's my artillery at? There it is. See. That's it? Oh, it wasn't like it was. That wasn't like it was when I was in. <laughs> that was a lot quicker. And my, and my, you call an artillery fire, you sometimes waited a couple of minutes. Anyway, platoons have a limited amount of ammo available. Intense combat will consume it rapidly. When the main ammo pool is depleted, the platoon won't be able to use primary weapons. Keeping units supplied is thus extremely important. Here you can see a Lars II platoon. It's an MLRS rapid fire rocket artillery that consumes ammo at very high volumes. Currently it's out of ammo. You can notice it by a red ammo icon on its platoon icon. That must be it. You can notice it by a red ammo icon. That must be that on its platoon icon or by selecting a platoon and inspecting its state in the platoon status panel. One of the most straightforward ways to resupply a unit is to retreat the platoon off map and call it back in after the delay. It will arrive fully restocked with ammo and all its units restored. Though the whole maneuver takes a significant amount of time. A similar approach is to move the platoon back to the starting zone. There it will be resupplied too, but the lost units won't be restored. Both of these options use the global supply points pool directly. Their counter is highlighted. Supply platoons allow much more expedient field resupply operations. When called on the map, they will lead, they will load a certain amount of global supply points to their in internal storage. Then if left stationary for some time, those platoons will display a circular supply radius. <clears throat> All idle units in this radius will be rearmed and repaired as long as the supply platoon has supply points remaining. You can always see the remaining amount on the counter below the platoon icon. Now use the supply platoon to rearm the MLRS platoon. That's platoon, supply that. Okay, where is it at? Is that it? That's it right there. Okay. <coughs> Move the supply platoon to the MLRS platoon. MLRS platoon to resupply. Send it there. Tune's right there. That's going to get me confused. I'm going to think the unit's there when it's really there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, I see. Those are the supply points, I guess. <laughs> supply platoons can significantly extend the time combat platoons remain effective on the battlefield. 
They're completely unarmed and very vulnerable to any damage, so keep them away from combat. Now to the final exercise. A strong combined arms force is assembled for an attack against an entrenched enemy. <coughs> an M577 command platoon is attached to the force. It's vulner vulnerable and unarmed, but it provides better coordination for all units in its command radius, improving their accuracy, defense, and suppression resistance. You'll be attacking a sizable enemy force in entrenched positions. Expect casualties. Use artillery to suppress the most dangerous targets. Pull the damaged platoons out of combat to resupply. Use retreat. Q if a platoon ends up in a critical situation and call it back later. Coordinating a lot of units can be difficult, yes. Use space to pause and issue orders. Oh, awesome. Awesome. You can also use control one, two, to assign currently selected platoons to a control group. I already figured that out, which is pretty much standard in almost any game you play. Pressing the control numbers button again will select that group immediately. It's especially handy for artillery groups that often happen to be far away from the direct combat. Yep. Capture this area. All right. Now where's my attack force at? You click on this, will it take me there? Okay, now where are they at? That headquarters unit over here. Okay, that's supply, so he stays at the rear. Any more supply? So the supply will be nine. Tanks, one. Mechanized infantry. Two. Oops. Crap. Hit the wrong button. Let's put tanks one. Recognize infantry two. Reconnaissance three. Artillery. Where's artillery at? That's engineers. Engineers four. I'm going to need to write this shit down. Artillery. Artillery five. Engineers are four, artillery is five, reconnaissance three. All right. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Attack. Stop. Z. All right. Where do we need to go? Right there. Capture that area. So let's take a look at the area. What do we know about it? Gotta get reconnaissance up there. So get the uh, let's get the mechanized infantry into that town. Base park and pause. Yep, there we go. Get the mechanized infantry in there. I don't want them to. No, let's get them right, right on the other side of town. Tanks. Uh -huh. 
tanks going in there and hit them in the flank right there. I should use the cover of the town. Artillery is nine. No, supply is nine. So I want the supply right there is artillery. Artillery, okay. So put artillery in this town right here. Uh, all right now what else reconnaissance gotta know what we're up against hopefully those trees are enough cover oh boy could be rough anyway uh, So tell me which ones I've made. He said, "Tell me which ones have made moves, and which ones haven't." I think I got everybody. Headquarters. Headquarters is six. Uh, Gosh. Engineers. What was engineers? I want personnel carrier. There, right there. Engineer. Command. Who is engineer? Panzer Grenadier, engine, what are these, armed personnel carrier, did I have engineers? I guess I did, I don't know. Panzer Grenadier, I already, yeah. What's this? No personnel carrier. Panzer, more Panzer Grenadier. All right. I might have one of those reconnaissance units wiped out. So that's my artillery. It's my supply. Alright. Artillery. How do you fire artillery? 
Damn, I forgot all of Artillery fire? I forgot how to fire it. Forgot already, damn it. Um, fast move. Artillery attack. Forward, what the heck? They haven't lost the vehicle yet. They haven't, but my tank platoons are good. Artillery T, that's it. T was the artillery. Supply, get supply over where supply at. Ah. BMP, a bump. Where'd my supply go? Supply, where are you going? No, 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 get back here. Move fast. Oh, he's out. T-72s right there. <coughs> oh, one platoon took three tank losses. <coughs> Good. Position occupied and all attacks have been repulsed. <coughs> this concludes the training exercise referred to regiment Bridge of media to learn more about specialized unit types. All right. Great work. All right. <clears throat> My first victory, I guess so. Mission fundamentals which covers such topics as customizing. I'm going to call it quits. We'll do that later. So, all right. <clears throat> I'm Corky Duke. CorkyDuke.com is my website. Like, comment, share my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. Buy a new game. Regiments. Is that Regiments 3 or I don't, is it just called Regiments? Anyway. There's a Roman numeral 3 above the Regiments. I don't. Anyway. Um, you can follow me on social media. Corky underscore Duke on Twitch. Corky Duke 1 on Twitter. CorkyDuke101 on Instagram and CorkyDuke on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all later.
Y'all take care. Bye.